Hi, everyone. Welcome to another Journalist Toolbox training. I'm Mike Riley, the founder and editor of JournalistToolbox.ai. Before we get started with our tools, which this time around is Ramble Fix uh, and Trickle, uh, two very good efficiency tools. Both are AI driven. Uh, before we jump into those, though, uh, I want to talk to you a little bit about JournalistToolbox.ai. Free website has all kinds of resources for journalists. Uh, uh, who want to use AI-driven tools. We've got audio and podcasting tools here. You'll see the links. Uh, some of these are paid, some are free. Uh, it usually notes wh which uh, on the uh, link, uh, and it has a little description about it. Uh, and you, most often than not, they have a training video uh, associated with it. So uh, be sure to take advantage of this website. It's free. We have a free newsletter here too. Uh, as well as more than 100 training videos, one of which you're watching right now. Um, so take advantage of those uh, really quick and easy way to pick up some new skills. A um, couple AI tools I wanted to share with you. Uh, this first one's Ramble Fix. Um, uh, this is a, a free tool. You can use it uh, up to five times per month for free. Uh, there are upgrades uh, where you go here and you can be up to 10 bucks a month. This is just a good voice memo tool. Um, it'll transcribe what you're saying. Um, I use this a lot of times to uh, concept an idea. Um, I'm currently working on a chat GPT, uh, custom GPT uh, for the website Journalist Toolbox. Um, so I'll just show you a little bit about how I kind of think through something and just kind of ramble on about it uh, in here. And then it turns the, my rambling into notes. There are a lot of different, you know, audio transcription tools out there. Uh, but RambleFix does a really nice job with it. Um, it's very accurate. Um, so, uh, you know, it's a good way to just quickly jot down an idea. It works really well on your phone, too. I uh, have, you know, uh, you're not using otter.ai. Um, I, I don't use otter for things like this because uh, uh, because of security issues. Uh, they can sell off their data. Uh, RambleFix does not. Um, so one of the things here, uh, you can just hit this uh, microphone button. Uh, and I can start concepting my idea. And uh, this idea is for a chat GPT, custom GPT for Journalist Toolbox. Uh, the name would be JT Bot. Uh, it would be a custom bot that would work with Journalist Toolbox uh, to offer recommendations on various tools. Um, what it would require is for me to download uh, PDFs of several of my pages um, collect those pages and build them out in a configuration uh, along with specific instructions uh, within the custom GPT uh, to answer questions such as, uh, can you give me five great image generation tools according to the journalist toolbox? Or uh, can you give me five really good sites for uh, note taking? Uh, or can you give me three really good uh, uh, video transcription tools, if you want to create a transcription off of a video. Um, so anyway, Ramble Fix here uh, goes on for th about three minutes, um, and you can uh, just hit the stop button in the middle here. It'll process it, and then it'll give you your recording back. You know, very simple, easy to use. Like I say, you get, you know, five free ones a month. Um, I'm using this, you know, just a, a few times uh, uh, a week, so I don't need to do the paid version. Um, notice it gives it a headline too with it. Uh, does a real clean edit on it. Um, notice, you know, it even picks up the uh, uh, quote marks uh, in there as well when I'm talking about an example. So it recognizes tone, which a lot of the tools don't do. Um, very easy to copy this. I could copy it and then paste it into a Google Doc or wherever I want to put it. I can do my editing on here as well. Um, I can go through and do some styling on this, you know, uh, create subheads and things like that, get some of that done here, or you can just do it, you know, in Word, uh, Google Doc, whatever you want. Uh, and then I can, of course, trash the idea if I, I want to uh, yeah, get rid of the note. Uh, and so I can get rid of it right here. But a good uh, little tool for, you know, notice it's a very vertical interface. So it works well on a, a phone as well. Uh, so you just type in ramblefix.com uh, and you're all good. Um, another tool I like to work with, and this one's called Trickle, trickle.so. Um, I work a lot with screen grabs um, when I'm working with data, uh, when I'm, uh, you know, pulling examples for classes. And a lot of times I need to extract uh, the text uh, out of the screen grab that I'm creating. Um, and this is an example of one of those. This is a web page about uh, 
uh, corporations that are buying up farmland in Nebraska, uh, my home state. Um, and I created two screen grabs. I could have just done one here because they're right next to each other. But I created two just uh, so I can kind of show you how this works. First screen grab is this one up at the top. And then the second one is this uh, table, this little uh, searchable table uh, down here at the bottom. Um, and this one, it actually goes up to 100. I have to do screen grabs of all 10 uh, to capture the entire da database. But I'm just going to do this one and the one above it uh, here for uh, our purposes. Um, so Trickle allows you to uh, uh, move screen captures into what's called a memory, uh, and it extracts the data out of there. And there are other tools, you know, that do this. You know, there are Google tools that will do this, um, you know, many others. Uh, but I like this one because it does a really good job of archiving the screen grab then, because many times I'm capturing an image that I want to be able to save with the text. Uh, and you use both, especially when I'm teaching data journalism classes, or if you're working as a data journalist, you'll run into this. Um, so you could do this by uh, clicking on, you know, new memory, uh, and uh, it'll, it'll uh, pop pop up here, uh, or I can just uh, drag and drop uh, my screenshot into the uh, interface here. So I can drag and drop my image in. Uh, it'll drop the image in right here. I've got my other one that I've already dropped in. Uh, and what it'll do here is it'll sit and start percolating and notice it gives you the little text tool. It's extracting all this data out of here and it's uncannily uh, uh, accurate. Um, and I've got all my data and all my numbers right there. Um, and I can take that and click to view. And it'll show me the screen grab, it'll show me my data. Um, and then uh, I could add it to a collection. I can save it. It'll save it into uh, uh, the, the uh, folder I want to drop it into. And I have mine called Top Buyers. Um, and that's where I want to put it. So I've already created this one. Um, and that collection will be saved. Um, I also can go in here and copy this. I can click up here, add to the collection, duplicate, uh, or I can just copy it right out of here um, and paste it wherever I need it to go. Um, so um that is how you use trickle so uh, this is a paid tool you get a seven day free trial so you can try it out see how you like it um and uh you know uh, it adds up to about you know uh 90 100 bucks a year uh but i use this so much i i couldn't believe you know when i first did the seven day free trial i thought ah oh, you know i'll probably dump this uh, but i found i was using it so much and it was keeping me organized uh, on my personal one, uh, this is a training example. I've got, you know, just tons of the memories uh, just uh, dropped here across the top. Uh, and it's nice because I can go back and pull them out. I can order, organize them by classes or by topics of what I'm writing about. I used it quite a bit in writing my two books. Um, so again, trickle.so and ramblefix.com, two really good AI tools, I think, that will uh, help make you more efficient. Uh, we'll have some more uh, here in the near future, but keep checking journalistoolbox.ai. We have a what's new section over here on the right-hand side uh, that if you go in there, uh, it's got all the latest and greatest tools uh, that I'm uh, sharing here as well as some training videos as well. So uh, we'll see you on the next training video. Take care.